and just say we're getting started. All right, I hit record, so it's recording from this point on. I'll hit mute all, just unmute yourself. Okay. Maybe. Hold on, maybe. I'm like running around like a crazy. <laughs> I can imagine. Okay, unmute. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm done. You do it. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, I think you just have to mute out then. Okay, I'm muting. Okay, cool. Okay, I think we got it then. Um, Y'all are so amazing. I asked y'all to get, go share what we're starting, and I see like 14 messages pop up. That's so great. Okay, so y'all, um, this is not my idea. So again, um, this business is literally you learning stuff from other people and then implementing it. Um, another leader shared what she did with her team with these surveys today. And I just thought it was such a great idea. And, um, you know, she said it was really nice that it was anonymous and that everybody got to share, you know, their heart and really speak from truth and not just say fluffy things that you know leadership wants to hear all the time so um i didn't know how it was going to work or how many would participate today um and i'm really excited we've had 28 so far participate and for those of you that did um i am very thankful that you did. It really gave me a perspective and a light into your business, into your world. And you guys were truthful with it. And I love that. Um, so it, like, we're, I'm going to run through just the first couple quick things just to kind of show you guys like a consensus of what, um, what everybody shared. Um, and of course, I don't know who said any of this. I don't know who clicked the button. I don't know any of this, okay, or who it came from. I just see the responses. So I literally can't even pinpoint back to who it belongs to, um, which is super cool. And I think we're going to do more of these. I really like this idea. I uh, didn't even know you could do it. So uh, out of um, 28 people, when I asked who purchased a business builder kit within one week of joining our business pack, um, 96% of you said yes. Only 3.8% um, of you said no. So that is awesome. That means that you guys are really taking um, ownership of your business and you're proud of that. So I thought that was pretty cool. And the second part of the question said, if yes, which one? 64% um, of you all purchased the $200 pack. 28% of you all purchased the $400 pack. And then the rest of rest 8% was the $100 pack with the DFT. So that's going to tell you guys where a lot of your promoter potentials are going to come from. Most people are going to buy the $200 pack. It's a middle of the road. You know, it's enough product for them to sell some and use some themselves. Um, but we had a pretty high percentage that purchased the 400 and honestly, the 400 is my favorite. So take note that until the 11th, we have double and triple fast start bonuses going on. You guys, that means if you can, if you sign two people with the $400 pack or you have two personally enrolled promoters purchase the $400 pack, you then get double fast starts. So you're going to get 80 the first week and then the other 80 comes on, uh, I think it's February the 28th paycheck. Okay. Um, if you sign four or more or have a combination of personal promoters, um, Okay, Amanda. <laughs> if you have a combination of four personal promoters uh, or new, sorry, I'm like ADD tonight. <laughs> I was reading the comments. <laughs> then you get triple fast starts, meaning you're going to get 80 the next week, and then you're going to get the um, additional 160 on the 28th. I don't know about you guys, but when I have had the double and triple fast starts in my pocket the last times they've offered that, it is really nice to get that extra money. Okay, Amanda, what you got? Yeah, you knew I'd forget if I did it. So that's why I came over. I like ran over. I'm sitting here trying to open up a Spanx box. Yes, I am. And <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I have to go tell them this. Um, okay, so something that um, Maria Holsington and Amber Nielsen and just some other people are doing um, that I, I'm in their chat. So I see them doing it and it's actually really cool and it's really, um, exciting 
instead of just changing the colors whenever they get a new customer or a new promoter, they're changing the colors of their chat every time they sell a three-day mini or a six-day mini, and they're selling six-day mini. So it's like a celebration in there. It's like every time you turn around, you're seeing a new color, and, and it's, it's really creating this energy that's happening, and I'm just seeing like because what they're doing is everybody on their team's trying to get that 800 kit. So they're all trying to pre-sell um, six day minis, three day minis and so forth. Right. Because let's face it guys. I mean, most people don't have $800 laying around. I mean, I certainly didn't when I got started. Um, and a lot of people don't coming out of the holidays and so forth. But if you look at it as six day experiences or four day experiences or five day experience, maybe people don't want to just do, um, three days. Maybe they want to do, um, a week's worth or something like that think outside the box right now and then go after it, make a plan. Like you're going to make this happen. You know, that time that Nikki did it, um, she pre-sold, what was it? 40 packs or something like that. So you guys, maybe you don't yeah. have a whole bunch of people on your team um, that are really, really running hard right now, but maybe they'll sell a couple packs, you know, and you'll be able to get that. Or maybe they will go after this because they'll get paid at a 200K rank um, for the next uh, four months. And then you're going to get 20 of those 10% promo codes and 20 of those free shipping promo codes. It, and, and it's just totally worth it. Like it's totally worth it for your business. So just something to consider if you guys need a little momentum in your chat. Um, I think that it's really fun. Like, hold on a second. I'll show you what this looks like. Um, so just to give you an idea of their chat. Okay. Like, okay. Can you see that colors? Yeah. Okay. Well, watch how many times they changed. Like, um, you can see like right there. Is oh, where the yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just so fun. And then it's like, woohoo, sold it. a six day just now. Heck yeah. Sold another six day and it's different people. It's not the same person. Um, That's it's just aggressively attacking it. And I mean, it, yeah, it's all different people on there. So, um, I love Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say, I love it. We've been doing it with the customer thing, you know, that stemmed off of what Stacy was doing with her team. But uh -huh. I love the trial packs because, honestly, it was super cool because um, I think it was one day last week, somebody signed a customer and then, like, five minutes later, somebody else signed a customer and then I signed a customer. It's like, so it kept changing. And so I was like, oh! Yeah, <laughs> so, you know, they wanted to so change it back. Because here's the thing. If you are trying to sell enough to get either one of the 400 packs or the 800 pack because they'll be going away, if you are doing that, guys, figure out how many six days you need, how many four days, maybe break it up and offer so many six days, so many five days, so many four days and, and do it somehow like that. Um, here's the deal. Even if you don't make a penny off of those actual minis, but you have the product to get in hand and you have all of those coupons, what do you think it's going to do for your business after all those people sample out the product and you follow up and you actually have, um, you know, you can even tell the people that you're selling the trials to, listen, I'm ordering this kit and I'm going to have, um, 10% off or I'm going to have free shipping and I'll, per I'll reserve one for you specifically if you decide that you're going to place your order um, and you know give them a time frame or whatever but you just get a piece of paper just like you would a vision board and start crossing off how many of those four days five days six days you need to accomplish in order for you to be able to order whatever that upgrade kit is so that you can get those promo codes okay Nikki I'm done I'm gonna go pack and let you talk <laughs> No, I love that. I was sitting here doing math and I was sitting here thinking, okay, we sell three days for $25. Guys, if you sold a six day for $40, that's only 10 six day packs that you have to sell between now and the 15th. I mean, the, the double and triple fast starts ends on the 11th, but we have until the 15th to purchase that four or $800 pack, um, you know, and get those promo codes. Guys, those promo codes are going away. I mean, we're not going to be able to get them. They're not going away for our brand new people coming in, but they're going away for us. So, um, to be, if you, if you're a seasoned, um, I don't know why my voice like just shook like that, but <laughs> if you're a seasoned, um, promoter and you have several levels of team below you, that's actively signing customers, 
get the 400 but push for the 800 and the reason i say that is because being paid as a 200k gives you double the commission on all the unilevel commissions so all of the customers that are coming in underneath of you okay um so you're getting eight percent instead of four percent okay um and that's just the basics so there's more to it but that's the basics um so if you sold 10 six days at 40 dollars guys that's good that's really good that's like five i mean it's five dollars a day to get a full month but that's just a little bit more than five dollars a day um so that's that's gonna six ten six days is gonna get you the four hundred dollar pack twenty would obviously get you the eight hundred dollar pack so I'm gonna challenge all of you guys to try to do that tomorrow I'm gonna try to do it tomorrow I think I'm actually gonna drop my three days to fifteen bucks again and really work to grab another four hundred dollar pack and grab some promo codes um, and I think what did I say it was how many do we get out of the four hundred dollar pack like six, eighteen to twenty sixteen to twenty something like that. Um, depending on how you package them, which I also have product downstairs. So I'm going to think about how many I have to sell at $15 um, to get a $400 pack. So I'm going to challenge all of you guys to get a $400 pack before the 15th for sure um, so that you're getting those promo codes because let me tell you something, the people that I'm seeing that are getting enrolled in the back office are getting enrolled because people have that 10% and that free shipping. Um, in the jumpstart group and that customer group that we have, um, somebody asked a question in there the other day and one of the responses, what on in the comment thread, she became a customer because the company ran that free shipping promo like three weeks ago. Like that was, she's been watching this for months, but you become a customer because the company offered you free shipping. Like, let's be honest, that's like what, 12, $13, but it was a 12, $13 is a big deal to people. So I love that. Okay. The next question I loved um, that I asked was, what was your favorite part of the company? And I'm just going to read a couple of these to you. And if something sticks out, um, I want, I'm, we're going to talk about it, um, especially when it gets down to like the challenges and stuff. That's why we're having this. But I wanted you guys to hear some of people's favorite things about this company. The products. Heck yeah. The products are amazing, you guys. In five years of this industry, never seen products work like this, ever. Cloud-based, that makes it amazing. It means we run for free. Um, the way that we give back, the way they give back to others, I love that. Amanda's amazing for that. Um, that's my goal this year, you guys, is to get where she is so that I can be the one that's running those promos like she is for you guys. I want to be able to drop a couple grand, you know, um, to you all and run these promos for your customers and promoters coming in. Um, Products again, um, amazing products, products. Um, the fact that both promoters and customers can thrive for free. If y'all don't understand the value of the customers and promoters thriving for free, I want you to get that like deeply rooted in your heart, in your soul. And I say that because where we came from, we could not incentivize, so I could never tell somebody you're gonna get free shipping. I could never give them money off their packages. I could never help them pay for their pack, their upgrade packages as a distributor. Um, I can never do any of that stuff. We were not allowed. You would be fired for that. So here we're able to do that, and not only that, but we're able to run our businesses for free, and we can thrive for free, and that is huge. And so our goal every month is to take our customers that we have or have had and try to help them thrive for free also. The quality of the products, uh, heck yeah. Um, honestly, I'm still trying to enjoy network marketing. I love that honest answer. I don't need to know who said that. I love it that they're honestly still trying to enjoy network marketing. Let me just say this really quickly. How many times in your life have you gone through and said, y'all have got to go see that movie? I think I've done that like four times in the past month since we've been to the movies with my family. It's like our favorite winter hobby to do is to go to the movies because you don't play outside very often in the winter time. But how many times have you referred people to tennis shoes or the movies or whatever? That is network marketing, you guys. You're just not getting paid for it. So here you're getting paid for that. So I love that you're so honest to say that you're trying to enjoy it. If there's anything that Amanda or I can do to help chat with you, if you want to you know, speak out privately in a message to us, I know that we would both be happy to help you and find your 
ground. Okay, that's important is that find, you find your place in all of this. Um, the product and the pay, able to get product for free, products in the compensation plan, products, you guys are all loving the products and I love that. I feel like I'm getting my life back. I have so much energy. So good, you guys. Um, they care about their people and do so much to help us succeed. You're so right. Getting paid weekly. Oh, that's like one of my favorite parts ever. Our team, the, I love our team too. The rewards, you don't have to push the product. It truly is sharing and not, um, not selling. Absolutely. How much they give back to their promoters and customers thriving for free. Um, be able to promote personal incentives freely for my customers. That's what we just talked about. Um, the products and the credits. I love everything. The products, the comp plan, just everything. Um, okay. What is your favorite part of this team? Um, teamwork, support for each other, how supportive everyone is, inspiration, amazing motivation, one-on-one uh, -on -one with higher upline. Absolutely. I want you guys to know that we need to always instill layered leadership, meaning I signed Ruth, Ruth signed somebody, they signed somebody, that they're going up the channels. That way everybody gets a chance to be a leader. But if your leadership has stepped out or they're not available, you guys, honestly, you know that we have the team chat groups. I mean, we do. Um, Amanda has a group. Jamie's got a group. We've got our little small group for, you know, just announcements and things. But there's so much support. So always know at the end of the day, if your people between me and you have checked out or whatever, me and Amanda are always here to help you. Always, 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 okay? Nobody should ever feel alone in this, ever, 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 okay? Um, with that being said, make sure you are using that chain of command if your upline is active, because I didn't come into this industry being a leader or knowing what the heck it was that I'm doing. Amanda didn't come into this industry being a leader or knowing what it is that she's doing. We've had to grow and evolve into that, and, I, and we want that same thing for you. And it's kind of like your kids, like if you do something for them every day of their life for 10 years, they're never going to learn how to do it themselves. You know, like my 14 year old knows how to run the washing machine, but two years ago he didn't. And that's a problem on my parenting, it's my skills. Okay. Cause I didn't teach him how to run the washing machine when he was little. Okay. But you know, so it's kind of that, that scenario is that everybody evolves into a leader and develops. So I want you guys to know that you can be leaders and we all start somewhere okay all all of us okay um support encouragement energy positivity promos and contests we have amazing leaders always available um always trying to help absolutely support drive motivation everyone willing to help teamwork how everyone comes together and helps each other succeed and how we treat each other like family that has been my number one thing since coming over here is that we feel like a family. I want you guys to feel like you can come to each other and talk about it. We can pray with you, laugh with you, cry with you. That's it. You know, that is the whole thing is that we need to be that intertwined family because family doesn't quit on each other, right? Family doesn't, they don't give up on each other. They cheer each other on, you know, they don't always get along, but they love each other. So, and that's what I want so bad for this team is for everybody to just be family how involved everyone is, um, encouragement, how well they try to help you, motivation, the drive, um, always getting answers, support and inspiration, heart devotion and honesty. Um, I'll never ever sugarcoat it for you guys. I did that in my last company and I'll never do it again. Um, I'll never tell you things are just, hey, they're amazing. If you know everybody's struggling, I'm not gonna tell you to work harder. If you need to work harder, I'm going to tell you to work harder. But, you know, I think that the biggest thing where I came from was it was every, it was you. It was never the whole picture, right? So, you know, I, I, I vowed coming over here that I was going to look at the whole picture. And if it was you, I was going to tell you if it was you. If it was everybody's slow, I'm going to tell you everybody's slow. But this is what you need to do, that kind of thing. Um, encouragement and leadership. Um, why did you join Lavelle? I needed change. I wanted change, extra income. Um, because after I tried it, I never felt better and I wanted to offer it to everybody I know and will meet. That is the exact, um, way that we should all be. Um, I wanted to feel good and I, and feel like I'm contributing to my family. Um, 
help people live a life they deserve. I won't read some of these. <laughs> um, I believe in my upline, the comp plan, uh, make extra money. I got a three day trial and loved it. Needed money and energy. Okay. Um, because my friend invited me. So if you guys rate, if you listen to some of these, this is why people join your team. Okay. You invite them, you get them on thrive. They try things, they need energy. They want to feel like they can contribute. So when I say these things, I want you to be thinking about potentials that you have in your life right now. People that maybe haven't looked at the business or people that have looked at the business and just say, Hey, look, you know, I mean, uh, stability and financially independent. Yes. I want to have like this massive savings account that is just my own. So like later in life, I can be like, ah, you know, to, to like my kids or whoever might need it. And it's just money that I've socked away that I don't ever have to worry about touching for any reason. You know, that's important to me. Um, having extra money without taking time away from my family. I don't know about y'all, but everybody in my life wants a few extra hundred dollars just for that very same thing. Okay. Um, I've been eyeing the product and I needed it for energy. Okay. So what, okay. Now we're getting into the meat and potatoes, the nitty gritty. Um, and Amanda, I'll have you like weigh in on a few of these here in a minute. I know you're packing, so I'll just keep chatting and then, you know, we'll talk about a few, but, um, so what do you need to work the most on? You may not have put everything that you need to work on. I need to work on things daily. Trust me. Like it is a daily struggle and war in my brain. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like it is a, it is a struggle in my brain. Um, coming where I came from and we just had this conversation in a leadership chat last night, but coming where I came from and that being my whole world for four and a half years my whole life. It was who I am. I literally walked around my little tiny town and people were like, Oh, you're the rap girl. Oh, you're this. Oh, they associated me with black, green and bling. I mean, they associated me with that company. I was that company and I lived and breathed that company and leaving that and coming here, honestly, it wrecked me. It wrecked my brain. And I'm telling you guys in all honesty, because I have, I love where we are here. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I need to go back. Okay. That is not it. Um, what I'm saying is that, um, most of you guys know my story. I was going through foreclosure. I found my last company selling those products, got me out of foreclosure saved my family, retired my husband for four years. We were a full-time stay-at-home family for four years. We went from having negative bank accounts, not even having bank accounts because they were so negative they got closed, to having a multiple six-figure income and then losing all of that, you know, within the same four and a half year cycle. Like, that's my story. So coming here, I feel like I almost don't have that story anymore because it's hard for me to share my story because that's not me anymore. Does that make sense? Like, is that making sense? Like I'm trying to find me again and I can say, this is my story and network marketing changed my life. But if I'm being honest with you guys, like it's mentally wrecked me. So when I say I struggle daily with things I need to work on, I have to work on finding out who I am again, who I'm, who I don't want to be, what I don't want to repeat, what I'm seeing myself repeat again that I know is going to bring destruction to myself or my business or whatever. So some of you guys may be in the same place because a lot of us transition from other companies, whether it be the same one or a different one. So um, find you. And like Katie was saying in our chat thread earlier this evening, do you do whatever the best you it is. You know, I feel like for so many years we got told to do so many things and it didn't work for everybody. And I want you guys to find your groove and I want you to find what is working for you. And if it's working for you, I want you all to share that with everybody because it may be something that other people want to try and it might be something that's going to work for them. So when we talk about what we both need, what we, what we need to most work on, um, I'm working on things daily with myself, 
wars in my head, <laughs> you know, just different things that I need to work on. But here's some things that you guys mentioned. And if it speaks to you, put it in the chat, you know, just say, Hey, that's me. Not, not that you're the one that made that comment, but Hey, I can relate to that, you know? And, um, Amanda, you can kind of listen to a few of these things. And then I want you to weigh in on a few of them as well, but reaching out daily and staying consistent with adding new customers and promoters guys, that's so important. Like, let me check our time here. Okay. It's so important to be consistent in this industry. And that is one thing I will tell you. Consistency will bring you results. Okay. That's, that's the end of the story. Like it's consistency. If Starbucks was only open, if it went from being open seven days a week to being open three days a week, they're going to lose business. If it went from being open seven days a week to two days a week, they're going to lose business. Does that make sense? Like it's, it's at the end of the day, it would wreck them. So being consistent, get more paying customers. How do we get more paying customers? Sharing our Thrive experience, talking about what it's doing for us, being confident in our product and loving what we're taking and sharing our results consistently. You may have just shared your before and afters two weeks ago, but I bet about a bunch of people didn't see it. So share it again, you know, <laughs> share your updated results, go hide that last post and share it again. I do that a lot. I'll post things and then I'll go back through and I'll like hide them and keep them myself so that I still have the comments and the likes there that I can like hand write them down. Making a list is so important. You guys, I don't have one in here. They're in my other, in my bedroom, but I have notebooks and you guys have seen my little index card thing of all the people and potentials that I have, but I have notebooks in those index cards of people that have asked me questions like my post. I have like in my radar, people that have messaged me, even if it's just asking a question, if you're not keeping a list of people, I mean, you're going to fail and I'm not being ugly about that. You're going to fail. You have to have a working list of people that you have to follow up with. You can't just remember in memory, like there's no way I have the, like one of the worst memories ever thrive has helped, but it, you have to have a list and you may follow up with those people 25 times and you may only follow up with some of them like twice a year because I told you to bug off, but you know, you still have to have a list of people. All right. Getting more paying customers that sharing your private experience. My confidence <sighs> goes back to what I was saying. I did not have this kind of, Ruth has known me longer than I've been in network marketing. Ruth and I have been friends for nine years, eight years, however long it is that she's been here. Six. Okay. Six years. So I've been on her a year longer than I've been in this industry. So she's known me. She has um, known me before this. I was not this confident person when her and I met, you see you're shaking your head. No, <laughs> I was not this confident person. I wasn't at all. Um, very, very little confidence in myself um, because of my situation. I've had to grow into that. So you need to work daily on your confidence. You need to work, if it's playing YouTube videos and motivational things, I want you guys to do, if, if confidence is your issue, I want you to do one thing every day. Devin, you might have to mute. I want you to do one thing every day that scares the bejesus out of you that's going to grow your confidence. If that's going live, great. Go live. Put a filter on, have a little fun, let your kids be a part of it. It doesn't have to be about this business or the products. Just go live. Ask one of us to go live with you. Um, it's okay. No big deal. Um, ask for one of us to um, go live with you so you have a buddy to do it with. I mean, sidelines, that's great. Share your experience. But if your confidence is your issue, you have to grow that and you have to find a way to grow it. Um, getting customers to buy, same thing. Um, and, and I want you to take out the, um, the, the, the thought process in the words of getting somebody to do something. We can't make anybody do anything. We can't get them to do anything, but they're drawn to these products by the way that you share them. I just had my youngest son's teacher just messaged me a little bit ago. Um, she's also known me for probably six or seven years and never asked me about my previous business and just messaged me and was like, all right, what is this that you're taking? Tell me, like, tell, t just tell me, tell me what all this is, <laughs> you know? And so as a friend, I was like, I don't try to sell anybody on anything. I want them to know what it's done for me and what it's going to do for them. If you make it about them, they can relate to that. If you make it about you, they can't relate to you. You aren't them and they aren't you. Okay. So getting them to, getting them to buy something, be confident in your story. Zella has amazing results. Like 
people, when she posts her results, like I watch like 40 comments, just like, Whoa. like, I mean, they love her results. So, I mean, that is something where, and Christina has amazing results and she posts and talks about them often. These women like are constantly sharing about them, but they're also telling what it's going to do for somebody else. And so that's driving people to their, to their sites. If you bought the $400, 800 kit, use those promo codes. Okay. That's the thing. Um, networking more. I mean, that's a given. We all need to network more. I mean, every day do something to add somebody to your network. If you add at least one person a day to your network, that's 360 plus people a year that you've added to your network. Make sense? So um, going live and messaging, going live. Yes. If that's something that scares you guys going live, it could be really scary. You don't have to go live forever. Like sometimes I'll talk forever in two days on a live video, but it's because I'm getting interaction and we'll talk about everything under the sun, but you can only, you can just go live in the morning, mixing up your lifestyle mix. You know, that's huge. Uh, Brittany, um, just totally went blank. Uh, Amanda, what's Brittany's last name? I just totally went blank. Green. Green. Brittany Green. Yes. Um, every morning without fail, Brittany Green, she's a mom of five or six. Is that right? Five or six? Five. Five. Okay. I, I know this, but you know, <laughs> uh, five or six every morning without fail. She has her little bullet looking thing there and she's mixing up her lifestyle mix and she goes live every morning and talks about the most random stuff ever. Sometimes it's her kids, sometimes it's sickness, sometimes it's Disney World, which she's obsessed with. It's her passion. That's what people know her for. Um, you guys, I didn't ask for myself to be known as the pageant mom or the sloth, the kid that loves the sloth, the mom of the kid that loves the sloth. Do you all know how many inboxes and tags? I've had to quit accepting all the tags. I get probably 10 tags a day of the same little sloth video so that I'll show them to Jaden every day. And I'm just like... This is crazy. How do people know that my kids love sloths that much? I really don't talk about it that much, but they do. And then pageant stuff. Like I'm now known, and we've only been doing this a year, like a little over a year, but now I'm known as like the mom that has a daughter in like pageants. And so like, and spray tanning and like all this other stuff, like people know me for those. So I'm finally getting, I've made myself into, but it's all my kids things. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I am my kid's life. But, um, you know, it's like, get, get, Find out Ruth, her thing is horses and living in Tennessee and being on this beautiful little mini farm and having the most gorgeous property. And every day her and James goes out and has like a, 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 a grand adventure of like walking their property, even if they're picking up sticks and things. She always shares that on Facebook and then all of her friends are talking to her about it. Like she's known for that every day. So find something that you're known for every day. That's going to be your network. That's going to be what's going live. That's what's going to make you real. If you're only guys, that's my mistake. Y'all my mistake with it works is that I was only known as it works. I wasn't known as Nikki. I didn't have things that I was known for loving myself or my kids loving. I was only known for network marketing and being a business and being their brand. And that is another thing where I say I need to work on. I have, I've struggled with that. And um, that's why I say I have struggled with finding me because that's all I was for four and a half years. I am, am like immersed myself so deeply into their brand. When I left that company, you guys, I sold all my shirts. I am not exaggerating. I had four shirts, two dresses, and then several pairs of pants that were not it works in my closet. Y'all. That's bad. Same. Four shirts. Like I had four shirts to my name. I bought this at a yard sale this like a couple months ago because I didn't even have a hoodie that didn't have it works all over it. Like I, I went to church with it works on my stuff. Like, you know, it was like, that's who I was. People don't even, didn't even recognize me for months after I left that company. If I wore another color, even the shirts that were in my freaking closet were green and black. Like I didn't even own another color. And so when I say you have to find yourself, you do. And going live, find out what you're passionate about. If you guys do dirt bikes and four wheelers, like Felicia's, um, you know, Steve and Cricket, and you know them, they do four wheelers and dirt bikes. Go live about that, which they go live all the time. They're used to it now. But if it's your grandkids, go live with your grandkids. Show them playing. If it's your babies playing, show something that your kids have done. Just do something to bring reality to 
your page, okay? That's so important. All right, get customers and promoters. Um, I do get minis out, but nobody signs up. One, pro I have one promoter, but they're not active. They're a free promoter. Okay. <sighs> All right. So um, getting minis out, awesome. Keep their name on the list. Keep following up. I have a stack of cards about this thick of people that have tried minis that have never become customers or promoters. It's just part of it. You just have to keep doing those steps over and over and over again. If you are not getting results with getting people signed up, I'm going to tell you guys the same thing. You're going to need to screenshot some conversations, put them in the group chat, put them in a private thread with me and your immediate upline. Let us look at what you're saying. Let's help you with the close. Those of you guys that do that, I know Devin's good for that and Felicia's good for that. There's several of you guys, um, Justine, uh, she's good for that. Several of you guys are really good. Um, and I know some of you guys do it with your upline, like some of Amy's girls and Katie's girls, they all do that with them, but, um, and as they should. But let us, letting a set of fresh eyes look at your conversations and what you're saying and helping you with a response, guys, that's going to help. Getting in a three-way thread, getting in a three-way chat, um, a three-way call, setting that up. You know, um, sometimes it's a little tweak here or there, and, um, and it, it will help you. Okay, what do I need to work on? Motivation to promote. Okay, nobody, motivation is like bathing. You have to do it every day, honestly. There's so many times that, I wake up and I don't feel like even answering messages. I just don't feel like it, but I do <laughs> because I have to show, I have a, I have a, uh, what, what is it called? Um, not a job, responsibility to show up for you guys every day because you're here because I said yes. We're here because Amanda said yes. We have a responsibility to show up. You have a responsibility to show up for you. For your kids for your spouse for whatever that reason was and why you joined okay and whatever your goals are you have a responsibility there's gonna be days where we don't feel like it but even on the days that I've not felt like it I've always worked my business I don't think there's been a whole 24 hour period where you guys have not seen me active on my page in the chat or in the group and if somebody has please tell me and I'm just saying that because I know that consistency is what brings results there's not a 24 hour period even when Amanda's on lifestyle getaways, where you're not going to see her, even when she was on that cruise with her family, she's like, okay, guys, I'm checking out for like four days. She didn't. She was active. She was in the group. She was on her page. You know, she was there as much as she possibly could be. So we all have that responsibility. So if motivation is your issue, find something that motivates you. Do one thing every day that's going to help you get motivated. Um, connecting with new people. We've kind of gone over that a little bit recruiting we've gone over that stop being shy step out of my comfort zone again that is going to take just you doing something that scares you that's personal development every day every day whether it's a youtube video whether it's a little clip whether it's a chapter in a book audible reading whatever do some kind of something to grow yourself into a leader something um Learning how to get people to join as a promoter. I haven't had any luck. I will ask you, have you had people and have you had your, um, your leadership above you in a three-way chat? Have you had them in a three-way call? Have you asked them for help in your conversations? Even if you're not putting them in a three-way, screenshot the conversation. Ask them for a response. Are you being consistent? Are you even talking to the right people? Some people we want as a promoter and they're not even, we just want a promoter. Some people, like we know, they're not going to do a dang thing once they get here. Guys, don't sign promoters, just sign promoters, sign customers, okay? If they're unsure, let them be a customer. And the reason I say that is because for, for them to be a promoter on your team, it's going to take a lot of your time and effort to make sure they're trained in and they're working and you're following up with them, you know, and they're, they're a part of things. I would rather see somebody be a customer and love product and then switch over than to just have 10 dead promoters that just bought a package and do nothing. Right. I mean, I'd rather have two really good promoters than 10 that do nothing. Um, get out of my own head. Again, we talked about that. Stepping out of my comfort zone. Talked about that. Consistency and being a better leader, a daily effort. That's just it. I mean, every day for the rest of my history and histories, I'm going to have to be consistent and I'm going to have to grow into be a better leader. I hope a year from now, I am not the leader I am today. I hope I'm better. I hope that I've learned things. I hope I've learned to lead. I hope I've 
like rather, I, I hope that I've had um, some kind of aha moment where I'm like, well, crap, I could have helped that person so much better. And I learned from that. So every mistake that you make and every little failure that you have, you have to fail forward, learn from it, grow from it and go forward. That's it. Um, better wording, again, screenshot, ask for help until you figure it out. Um, signing promoters, again, sharing y'all's journey and your love for this company. And if you don't have a story with making money yet, share somebody else's. Okay. Christina, I, I used her earlier, but y'all, she's never done network marketing before either. She was one of my hair, skin and nail customers from it works. Never done this industry before at all. And she's killing it. She's doing so good here. So you don't have to be seasoned to do it. You just have to have a willing heart and, you know, a learning person, a teachable personality. So, um, let's see, following up with customers who have stopped, that's just going to be an effort of doing it. Um, let's see, consistency, uh, again, um, y'all consistency is going to be across the board for the rest of your life. Like, let me just be honest. You're, it is, it is a daily struggle sometimes, um, to be consistent. Um, Nikki, can I just jump in here yeah. real quick? Yeah, because I had like two more and, um, they're basically the same thing. So I wanted, I was going to read them all and then like, let you like, okay. Cover what Wanted. Okay, go ahead and finish and then I'll, I'll, I'll say something. Remind um, me, consistency, go ahead. Consistency, okay. <laughs> Building, or getting trial packs out and balancing my life and then consistency again. So, go. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. Last November, um, I went back to working full time after being home um, since April, 2014. Like I still stayed casual at the hospital. Um, but I went back to work, um, because I had to financially, I had to, I was in a position where, um, we came home from a soccer game and I had a note on my door telling me that my house was going to go into foreclosure. Um, and it was like, that is the, it wasn't going into foreclosure yet. It was like the first notice or whatever. Um, but it took me right back to where I was whenever I got started with it works. So, um, I, anyways, I, w I decided to take my job back and I decided this probably in October, right after I had like a diamond retreat and I, uh, listen, no matter what you do in this life, guys, you're going to have to stay consistent. I had to get up at six o'clock in the morning. I had to leave my kids. I had to go to work. I'd be there till seven thirty, eight thirty. Maybe I got mandated until 11. The other night, my friend Amanda picked up an overtime shift and she ended up getting mandated till um, 12 o'clock the next day at work. And, you know, the reality of this is, I mean, she went to work thinking she was going to work 12 hours and ended up working 16. Um, and that was my reality, you know, and when I started in this business in January last year, I still had to get up and go to work. I still had to face the fact that Leo was struggling in school and that Donnie was also working um, 11 to 7.30. So Layla was basically babysitting um, in, in between time from when he left for work and when or whenever I came home from work and when he would go to work because I would work night shift and he would work day shift. We were on complete opposite schedules. Um, I basically slept when my kids were home um, because I didn't have a choice. I mean, Layla was old enough to kind of keep an eye on Leah at that point, but it was like, I wasn't getting to see my kids or spend time with my kids, quality time with them without being like completely exhausted. And the reality of this is no matter what you do in life, if you want to earn a paycheck, you are going to have to work and you're going to have to be consistent at it. Um, the biggest thing is that I can tell you for me, it was a real hardcore reality check going back to working full time um, after having that freedom. And, you know, it was like trying to plan for vacation, not knowing if we were going to get it off, um, trying to plan for trips for my business. There was no traveling. There was no doing any type of events um, outside of like that one time I could get a weekend off. Um, there was no calling off because I'd get in trouble. I'd lose my job. Uh, I couldn't just quit because in the middle of the shift, whenever, you know, somebody dying and I mean, the very real reality guys is that I had just gone through a loss of my dad. And then I was dealing again with death and 
um, very sick people and diagnosis. And that was not where I was meant to be anymore. And I needed out of it. Um, so when I joined Lavelle in January last year, I had to still work. My husband was still working, but I had to make this work. And I knew that I had to go full force. And I had, and it was this time of the year. Um, I pulled up last night and I showed, I believe um, in the 12K chat, I showed them how last year at this time, I was like 70% on my way to 40K. 70% on my way to 40K and I hit 40K um, like a couple days later and then um, I hit 80K on week five. So I literally doubled my volume just as you guys did back in, what was it, August or was it July? It was July. July. So it, it's like the reality of this is, guys, is that the power of what is going to happen, this momentum, like we don't know about bonuses, okay? We don't know what's going to happen. What we do know is that the compensation plan, if everybody's working, if everybody's duplicating, is amazing. One thing I can tell you this, something I learned from my previous business was this, bonuses are a double-edged sword, okay? For me, I've given back every ounce of the bonuses that I've gotten pretty much every month since I received the bonus, okay? And before, I didn't know how I was going to survive without my bonus money in my previous business. Like, I, I really didn't. And some of you guys might be like, why does anybody need to make that much? Well, when you start making a good bit of money and you've never had money in your life. I mean, I was the person that my dad used to like take my money from like the candy bars I sold. And then I would be out shoveling snow or something to make extra money to make up for the difference for what my dad took. And he innocently, you know, um, but that's the reality. Like I just came from a place where if I wanted it, I had to work for it because like my parents never had the money to pay for my prom dresses or to pay for any type of stuff that I did in school. I always had to do fundraisers or whatever there was because we just didn't have it, you know? And I learned from a young age that you really do have to work your ass off for the things that you want. And when I, whenever last year started, um, I finally just came to the point where I was like, no more. There is like, I have to do this. Like I have to get my head straight. And then along came Lavelle and you guys, I can tell you that even without my Lavelle, like without my bonus that I did earn last year, um, which will be up in like June or July, I am uh, like, I, <laughs> the reality of it is, is like, I'm like, okay, I'm still making more money than I've ever made before in network marketing with or without that bonus. And I just want everybody to realize, cause I was talking um, the other day and I said, you know, here's the thing, like the certain ranks and so forth that everybody achieves. Like I know 4Ks that are making bomb checks because they are signing massive amounts of customers and they are literally just taking their business in their own hands. Maybe their promoters aren't doing a whole heck of a lot, but guess what? They're working off those referrals. They're working off um, just, you know, themselves, you know, that's who they're relying on. Um, I was talking to Kendra Schwartz um, yesterday. She asked me, she said, Amanda, um, let me ask you what, helped your team catch momentum this time last year. And I said, well, I'm going to tag you. And I tagged her in a post. Um, and there's a reason guys, why you see me run certain things at certain times, normally during non auto ship weeks, we'll have some kind of little extra here and there. Um, I get really annoyed. I'm just going to be really straightforward with you. If somebody starts talking, like nobody will sign until there's a promo, I won't like right now, everybody has the opportunity to grab those promo codes. There is absolutely no way in hell would I run a promo when everybody has the ability to go after those promo codes. Um, but it's, it's really frustrating to see somebody say like they can't know, like, oh, I just signed up and I just missed it. Well, then you focus on the people that are coming along with you. Um, if you just ordered and so forth, nothing burns somebody more than 
I don't know. It's like kind of like a salt in a wound for me. Whenever somebody says that, it's like, seriously? Um, well, you but, know, it's just disrespectful though. I mean, and, and, yeah. it, and it is, I mean, just being honest, like if you only work your business when there's promotions out there that Amanda's giving her checking account out, I mean, that's just not good because you're cheating yourself. And honestly, because where we came from and where a lot of you guys came from, we couldn't do that anyways. Like we got to presidential Amanda and I, and a lot of you guys got to diamond or above or Emerald or Ruby or whatever by working your butts off and by helping your team work their butts off. And you know, it, it's, it's hard work. And she's right. Like if your alarm clock goes off at six o'clock in the morning, cause you have to be at work at seven 30 and you have to have your kids on the bus at this time and everything that's consistency. That's mm -hmm. you having to do it because you're going to make somebody else a paycheck and fill their dreams when you could be taking that extra time. You know, like Amanda said, she worked third shift. She had kids at home. Her husband was working day shift. They were like ships passing in the night, you know, but on, you know, between patients and on her break and in the bathroom, she was building her business. I can't know? even tell you guys how many times I was on three-way calls, three-way chats, Zooms, um, Facebook chats, whenever I was in the middle of the medication room, like <laughs> in between med passes, um, jumping on, listening to calls, people pr announcing promotions. Um, I remember the night that I think it was Lacey that went 80K. The night that she went 80K, I remember... Um, or actually it was the month that she went, she came up like $3,000 short of 80 K and it was in March, um, of two uh, March last year. And it was like $3,000. And I was working on March 31st. I said, I'm never working on a last night of the month ever again. And it was literally like, it was a race against the time, you know, and there were other people that were trying to promote. And it was just like, all this chaos and here I am, I'm working night shift and I'm trying to be on my phone <laughs> and try to check stuff and my patients are going haywire and things are going nuts at the hospital and I can't neglect my patients. So like I was like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, checking every second I got. Um, but the reality of it is, is that it was hard, but it was every ounce worth it because whenever I left um, for conference, I put in my two weeks notice and I was done. Like I was done. I didn't have, I didn't come back um, to going back to, in fact, in all the years, I never left completely. I stayed casual at the hospital. Um, but after everything that happened with my dad and then going back to work full time, I knew that I was not meant to um, work in the nursing profession anymore. I was meant to help people, but I was meant to help people in a different way. And I, I just, I know that there's so many people guys, um, that are here that have the potential. And how do I know that you guys have the potential is here's the difference. Okay. Um, when I left it works, it wasn't for lack of trying. It wasn't for lack of, I mean, I'm just going to say it and I hope this video never circulates around where somebody sees it. Um, but it wasn't for lack of, sorry, let me fix that. It wasn't for lack of trying. It wasn't for lack of commitment. Um, I did lose my passion because other people we're not promoting like around the entire company. Okay. I mean, there's no hidden like secret. You can go look and see how many new ambassadors were, there were, how many new presidentials there were. It went from being 50 to 60 new presidentials to nothing. Um, and it's like, when you see that across the board, okay, it's this problem's bigger than just my team. It's bigger than just a couple teams. It's bigger than it's company wide. Okay. Right now, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing people come in like a bat out of hell. Twin had no guys, none, no network marketing background. Okay. And she's like killing it on that leaderboard. Sure. There's some people that have come in and, and they're like signing all these 800 and 400 kits and whatever they're doing, whatever. But you know what? When you look at Twin, whenever she earns that bonus, it's going to be freaking earned because she hustled and she didn't stop. Like she straight up will tell you like, I didn't sleep, you know, or, or whatever. And it's because like, she's just, and she does have amazing network guys, because here's why she has an amazing network. She does micro derma or micro blading and um, eye, eye tattoos. I want you to think of a couple things when you think of that. 
And this goes into another tip that I'm going to give you. And I talked about this earlier to Nikki and a couple other people. Um, here's the deal. Twin has a great network. I mean, she may not even realize that she had a great network, okay, um, before she got started because she does something that is providing value to her clients, okay? Mm -hmm. Normally, clients that come in and get their eyebrows tattooed do have money, okay? Let's just be real here. I'm going to keep it real down to earth because guess what, guys? I live in West Virginia. Um, most people don't even, like, they make minimum wage, okay, where I live. Um, my house was $128,000, okay, and it's not a bad house. It's not luxurious by any means, um, but it was what I could afford when we could afford it and so forth, right? Like, the reality of it is I live in an area that's not the best jobs. Like, there's a couple hospitals. The coal mines have all closed down. Pretty, I mean, most of the coal mines have all closed down. Um, or you work for like the FBI or the pharmaceutical companies. Like that's it. That's the jobs that you could have here. Um, and everywhere around me, university employee or what I just said. So there's not a whole lot of anybody, you know, really <laughs> spending money on anything because most people don't even have money in their savings account, let alone, um, have money for anything that they do. So I didn't have a huge network to work with when I got started, um, but Twin did, okay? So here's what I was talking to Nikki about. Um, for so long in this industry, I tried to fit a mold of who I thought that I was supposed to be. Um, and I did that for probably the first 10 months of my business. And then I went to conference um, for the very first time and I was 10 months into business and I was, I mean, I was an emerald at that time, um, but I had grown like this because I just kept on going. I kept on having parties. I kept on um, signing people and trying to build my volume and try to build and fall apart, you know, the story. Um, but anyways, I came to the point where I went to conference and I realized, holy crap, there was a girl on stage that ha that was a Ruby the year before and she was in the top 100 and she was a presidential diamond and she had an ambassador under her. And I thought, what makes her any different than me? And that's when it hit me that I didn't need to do things the same way that other people were doing them. I just needed to do me. I needed to be me and I needed to pour that into my business. Um, with that said, I still struggled. I still struggled because I'd see people posting these beautiful pictures and I thought I had to post these beautiful pictures. I thought I had to post these luxurious whatever, right? But that just wasn't me. Like that wasn't Blogger my life. Pictures. Huh? Like Blogger pictures with your fat fighter bottle and your gorgeous little back, back, back trails. Yeah. Like, I mean, and it was to the point where it was even, I mean, it was taught to do that, like to go get materials and make your pictures real flashy and so forth. And don't get me wrong. Do I think you should make your pictures still? Yeah. I think here's the deal. I'm big on an emotion person because that's who I am. I'm big on, I want to make you laugh. I want to make you cry. I want to make you think. I want to make you believe. I want to make you feel something, okay? Because if you don't feel something, you're never going to do anything. It's not going to push you beyond your, your comfort zones, right? So when I started like kind of exploring, and I, I did this probably last year, Around the time that I left, I created a website, and at the time, it was called All About Amanda Arnett, okay? And I was like, I still didn't know where I wanted to go with it. I was kind of still filling out who I was, what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to be able to reach more people, and I wanted to share my life, but I kept on reading all this stuff that you had to have a niche. You had to have, like, and for those of you guys that don't know, like, a niche is something like that is, is valuable to other people, something that's not like trendy, something that people would want to tune into you for, right? And if you read when you're looking, like people don't want to hear about everybody's story because they'll get bored or whatever. Everybody's like got a specialty. You want to be able to provide a guide. You have to, and I was just like, my head started spinning like, oh my God, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. I'm never going to do this, right? So I started having this period of self-doubt. But then what I realized was, is that 
I got a bigger reaction when I literally was just like, whenever I came across something that made me smile, that was totally Amanda or sharing like, dude, guys, if you need to worry about, I've had these clothes, like the shirt on. Okay. Like seriously, I've had bats and stuff. All right. But I seriously throw the same nightgown on for like the last three or four nights. Like every time you see me, I've been with this nightgown on. Okay. Let's just be real. It's February. I'm getting ready to go out of town and it's been craziness, right? Cause I've been working nonstop and trying to get as much done as possible. And between homework and, you know, running errands here and there, I, I take my clothes off as soon as I get home and I put this on, right? I did a video yesterday morning without like a bra on, or maybe that was the day before. I don't even know, but I didn't have a bra on and I was just like a crab ass and I was just being serious, but it made people laugh and made people relate to me. And I didn't care that I didn't look thin in it because God, I did gain weight, but why did I gain weight? Because I like to eat. Um, but no, because also other reasons, but, um, the reality of it is, is that I didn't have, I don't have this massively crazy before and after picture. Okay. Um, why? Because my transformation was more here for me. It was more here. Okay. Carrie was saying the other day in um, the 12 K chat, she was like, Amanda, you made a ridiculous amount of money last year and you are box dyeing your hair. <laughs> and I said, yep. And I have clip on nails and, <laughs> and, and I legit is, that's just who I am. Okay. Like I, like, don't get me wrong. Like I'll go get a pedicure and I do sit in that my top massage chair. Okay. Which my room's a mess. My massage chairs. Look where it's at. Can you see it? <laughs> It's legit right by my bed. Don't mind my room. Anyway. <laughs> I said one just like that. And y'all, it is hot. Oh, yeah, it is. But you know what? It's so cool. And and my husband jokes because I say I don't spend money on like stuff like that ever. And he was like, Amanda, you spent money on that massage chair. And I said, that massage chair has kept me from getting, like, I swear to you, I have not had headaches um, like I was getting or anything like that. So it's really been a health benefit more than anything. Um, and it's just relaxing. It's kind of like a de-stressor type of thing. Um, but anyways, I'm getting off subject to squirrel, right? Um, but my big point here, guys, is, is that what I want to tell you is that consistency, identifying who you are. Um, you know, today, uh, charity in the chat was talking about, she didn't know who her identity was, Well, she was saying it just as she was like saying that she didn't know who she was, but here she was saying like, she loves paint. And I said, listen, what did John Eric teach us? Like years and years and years ago, take people on the adventure with you. Okay. Take people on the adventure with you. And guys, I promise you, you are going to make more friendships. You are going to build more relationships and there's no shortcutting those relationships, guys. I hate to tell you, um, sometimes people just want to know like those magic words. You can't say magic words to the wrong people. Okay. You can't, you can't say magic words to the wrong people. However, no. if you provide yeah. trust value to those people and they build a relationship with you, they're going to be more likely to listen to you. You're right. And no, and, and you can't, you can't, but Put it in the chat, and I know that some people had to go, and not everybody that is qualified for the, to answer this is on, but if you were not on my team, and it works, but you joined me here because I somehow poured into you or built value into your life, you know, when you were on another team, like, put in the chat if you were, like, if, if that's you, you're here with me now, but you weren't with me before. And I know that there's a bunch of you in here because that's the thing. It's, it's value. And Amanda, oh my gosh, it's so right. And that's the thing. Um, John Eric, you know, he says, take people on your adventure. Charity's right. Like she's in this paint group. She asked a question and has like 600 comments and she asked a valid question in a group and that she's interested in and has 600 comments. Y'all that's 600 potential new relationships that yep. she can make without having a backdoor agenda, because at the end of the day, if this business completely went away, what are you left with? And that's where I've had to try to find myself again, because at the end of the day, when it works was stripped from me, it's a freaking, I, I it, didn't know, I didn't know who I was. 
Yeah. And, and, you know, Nikki, I'll touch, I'll, I'll say this too, because I said, I told you earlier, you know, the thing is guys, I didn't know who I was either. Um, because all we knew was our identity of who we were and what our stories were and the ups and the downs and all arounds and all we knew, like, I mean, every ounce of us, like the back of my car had, um, you know, I had the thing on the back of my car, the body wrap on the back of my car. Um, everything I owned purses, I, I threw away like my husband, actually, I should say, cause I like would not even look at my stuff. My husband literally just went in like my, my computer room and dumped it. It sat there for almost a year guys. Mm -hmm. It sat there for almost a oh, year. And, and it's good. That, like being that involved with something is the reason why a lot of people are successful because they try that they, they become, they, that's who they become. And those people who can identify with what they're doing are the ones who become success, successful, but you, we, we did it wrong and we lost who we were. Yeah. Like, and that's really what I was going to say, just like Nikki was saying with the pageants earlier, um, just about, just everything. Like I always you did Christy. That's my story with Amanda. Christy blocked me and then unblocked me. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, Nikki did. She blocked me. And it's, it's so crazy to me because just probably, I don't know, a couple of weeks before I decided to jump on board with Lavelle, I was looking at a different company and I, I think I might have even kind of mentioned that I was looking at that other company while I was talking to you. Yes. Um, yeah. but we had I, a full three hour conversation on the phone. Yeah. But I wasn't, I wasn't fully like there yet. You know, like I wasn't fully there, like in believing what I was going to jump into. And then along came Jamie Pekka throwing me a curveball. here. <laughs> but here's the deal. Why did I decide to join Jamie Pekka for a couple reasons? A, I knew Lisa. I followed Lisa. I was excited about working with Lisa. I talked to Lisa on the phone. B, I was excited about trying the products. Okay. Um, if they really did what Lisa was telling me that they were going to do, that was going to be life changing itself. Just, I mean, I can't, please don't ever share this cause I'll get in trouble for saying this, but I was on, um, Adderall twice a day guys. Um, and I needed to come off of it desperately. It was spinning me into like bipolar episodes, like basically, um, when I was going through the grieving process with my dad and, and going back to work and everything. And anyways, um, I was able to come off of that when I started taking Thrive. Like I, I don't take Adderall anymore. And for me, that was life changing. Okay. And that's one of the reasons why I did, I've put on some weight and so forth because I was on years of taking Adderall and then it came off and you know, your body doesn't work the same whenever it's been used to taking a medication that like messes with your dopamine receptors. So, um, I did put on some weight and I'm okay with that because mentally I'm better. Okay. Mentally, I'm a better person. I'm a better wife. I'm a better mom. Um, I'm a better friend. I'm better logically thinking. I'm not as impulsive as what I once was. Um, I'm not depressed and I'm not sad. So like, you know, it was an equal turn, but at the end of the day, um, I just, I want, I want people to realize that I decided to join Jamie because of a relationship that her and I had. Nikki decided to join me and Jamie because of a relationship that she had. Um, it literally all comes down to a relationship. I wouldn't have, and really that's what I looked at whenever I was looking at these two companies. I was like, man, this, I mean, they both had great compensation plans. Okay. They, they both did have both, you know, great compensation plans and the product I tried the other product. I wasn't in love. Okay. So that's what was kind of stopping me from jumping on board there. But what sealed the deal was the compensation plan, the product, the people for mm -hmm. me, compensation yeah. plan, the product and the people, yeah. um, mainly the people I wouldn't have joined this company. Other, I wouldn't even looked at Lavelle if it wasn't for Jamie Pekka. Okay. I and agree. and Nikki probably would have never looked at this company if it wasn't for me and Jamie. No, I wouldn't have. Not mm -hmm. at all. So I hope that, I know some of you guys have posted and they're like, it brought value. You know, this is bringing value and you're, you're, you're loving this, you know, let me, let's move on to our next step. Um, and I'm going to try to like, we'll try to wrap this up in the next. I'm sorry. Week. I'm going to quit talking now. Cause I'll, I'll keep it going all night. 
No, you're good. You're good. I want this to be something that people have brought that are bringing them value though, because we haven't done anything like this, you know, just my team and, you know, with you or anything. And mm -hmm. I don't know that we've had a really in-depth training like this that speaks specifically to anybody really we've done generalization type things okay so the top two to three business challenges right now while amanda was talking i'm not going through all of them um I, I'm, I'm generalizing a lot of them because most of them are really the same um which is keeping on track guys we've just talked about that you just you have to it is something that you have to if you have to write yourself a schedule or, or whatever, whatever works for you, whether it's alarms on your phone, start with power hours, power 15 minutes, set 15 minute alarms and you do five Facebook likes and five nice comments and five whatevers and then five whatevers and you spend two minutes doing that and two minutes doing that before you know it, 15 minutes is up and all you've done is income producing activities. I'm also working on a sheet. Those of you that were on my team before, you know, we had this thing that was like called build your own diamond and you had to do like 20 to 40 points a day in order to build your business. It truly helps people grow. Um, it's all income producing, producing activities and it all has like a point system weight on it. Some of you guys like those kind of things. Um, I showed it with a man, I shared it with our 12 K group and up today. Um, and we're like adding and deleting and putting things in there that, that work with Lavelle. And, um, so I will have that hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow. And if you guys like checklists and things and you want to know what to do or you want to have a power 15, you can look, go down through there and see things that you need to do that are going to be building your business. Okay. So, um, time management guys, it's just, you have to just figure it out. If you go pee, take your phone with you. I mean, God, we used to take newspapers and magazines to the bathroom. We take our phones now. Let's be honest. Instead of watching like Netflix, I don't know, do some follow-ups. I mean, um, just don't hit the video messenger button or something like that. I'm always afraid I'm going to do that. But, you know, if you're in the bathroom, do something, you know, with it. If you're at the stoplight, I, I know, no, don't text and drive, but um, if I'm at the stoplight, my kids know I'm like, I'm sending a follow-up message or I'm answering something in our chat, in our group chat or whatever. Like I'm doing something business related if I'm at the red light. That's just the way that my mind works. My phone is 95% or better in my hand at all times. Um, yeah, recordings in the shower. I've got a speaker hanging from my shower rod and I turn it on, turn my Bluetooth on and I put on some Tony Robbins if the kids aren't home because he drops the F-bomb every two and a half seconds, but he's amazing. Or I'll do some Les Brown or I'll do something, something, you know, even if, if I'm having a really crappy day, I will go get in the bathtub and turn on nothing but like motivational or like 45 minutes of affirmations and I just listen to as many of them as I can possibly stand and that's honestly being real with you guys I've had a really bad like last couple weeks and that's really what I've been doing a lot is lots of affirmations I literally got out a notebook yesterday and I wrote and I just wrote till I couldn't like even read my handwriting anymore I turned my phone off do not disturb and I just wrote like four pages, like of the same thing over and over again. And I wrote what I expected of myself and what I expected of my business. And I just kept writing. And I just like was saying, I'm thankful and I'm grateful. And I just wrote. And it was like the same thing over and over and over again. And I have like four pages completely covered. And by the fourth page, it was just like, because my hand was so tired. But I knew if I didn't get it down on paper, I had to do something. I had to do something to change my stinking thinking because I have it all the time. Um, Okay. Not being salesy. Um, okay. Don't be salesy. <laughs> uh, and somebody else put, I'm really good at sales. I've been the top salesperson for however long in my business at, at work, but I'm not getting results here. Okay. Here's the thing. You can't be salesy in this kind of business, although it sells. Makes sense, right? Um, again, it goes back to relationships. It goes back to trust. It goes back to what can you do for somebody else? It's testimonies. It's, it's things people are going to watch like Kipton's teacher. She's never liked or commented on anything. She just messaged me today and she was like, tell me what it is. I need energy and I need to lose weight. Just tell me what you, what you have. You know, somebody at church the other night was like, I need to get a three day trial from you and try this or three days of that stuff that you take. She was like, I need some energy and I need to lose weight. And she's a nurse. And so and she's a, um, a monster Red Bull and Diet Mountain Dew drinker. And so I was like, okay, girl, I, you got to try this. Now she's one of my customers and she's working on thriving for free because she loved it. So it's, it's one of those things where, and I don't push my business on people outside of 
my business. Like if I'm in personal life with you at church or wherever, I'm me. I am, I am me. And like, I was talking to a friend the other day. Um, she's very well known in my town. Um, Sadie Smith, if you live near me and you know, but she was like, you know, I just have to tell you, cause we, I think a lot of her, she thinks a lot of me, but she was like, I have to tell you when you started with that last company and stuff, she's like, all of them post on Facebook. Cause I wasn't used to it. She was like, they used to get on my nerves. And she was, and her family is on one side is Ryan's family on the other. So we like share cousins or whatever. And, um, so she was like, and I asked Kayla one time if like at family reunions and get togethers, if you just pushed your business and she was like, no, never, <laughs> you know, she never talks to anybody about her business. And that's the thing you guys, you can't, you have to be you in person. And if people just think that all you're going to want is like at the end of the day is to push your products on them. They're going to run because nobody likes a used car salesman. Sorry, Christina. I know y'all are amazing at it. <laughs> um, y'all are, y'all are a little different, but, um, nobody likes that kind of person. Like when I go to a car lot, I don't half the time you don't even get your door open and there's somebody like standing at your window, like wanting to sell you something, you know, and you're just like, yeah, go away. Or the stupid vacuum cleaner salesman that comes to your door. Those of you that are older, you know what I'm talking about. They don't do that anymore. But I mean, that's, yeah, you're honest. <laughs> um, that's awful. That is nobody wants that. You know, I was thinking about that the other day, those vacation vouchers I have out for you guys, which by the way, go after them, go get them, get your VIP 800 done by the 15th. So you can get, you know, in the drawing for the vacation voucher. I remember the Kirby man coming to my door and trying to sell me a vacuum. At the end of the day, I just took his vacation voucher because, <laughs> you know, it's like, that was like the prize for him coming in your house. You know, I remember that happening and nobody wants that. Like you, they don't want that. They want you to be you and they, People join you and buy your products because you're you and you're trustworthy and there's something about you that they're drawn to. And if you, if they know that you're truly willing to help them, they're going to be a part of your business and they're going some way, shape or form, whether it's a three day trial, it's a customer or a promoter, you just have to, thank you. So, oh God. Uh, oh gosh. I think I did end up buying one one time. I think it was like $900. That's a lot of money. Okay. So, um, I can't imagine 3000 for a vacuum cleaner. Okay. Anyways. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, you, you got to take the sales out of it. When you're speaking to somebody in a messenger message, take the end result out of the equation, take it out, whether they sign or they don't sign. Did you leave that person better than they came in when you found them? Like Devin, if you messaged me, did I, and you wanted to know about my product, did I leave you feeling better about yourself than you did when we first started talking? You started asking me questions. You know, I mean, it's something like that. It's, did you, um, do you, do they feel better about you? Whether they buy at the end of the day or they don't, if you made them feel good, they're going to keep watching and they're going to do something eventually. So if it's all about like, if you're being that stupid spammy salesperson, like, hey, beautiful, I think your hair is gorgeous, and I really would love for you to be my 90-day trial person for hair, skin, and nails, gag me, please, because nobody wants that. At the end of the day, they know you only, they only friended you because, or you only friended them because you wanted to sell something to them. Does that make sense? So it's, it's take the end result out of the equation. At the end of the day, do we want to make sales and sign people up? Yes, we want to grow our paycheck, of course course. And yes, you have to listen to them. You have to be a better listener than you are a talker, period. End of story. If somebody asks you about the products, don't start selling them on the products. Ask them what they need. What do you need? What are you looking for? Okay. What, what results are you expecting to have? Because what you're selling them may not meet their expectations at the end of the day. All right. And I mean, which Thrive does help with just about everything, which is good. But at the end of the day, maybe they need rest. Maybe they need boost. Maybe they need move. Maybe they don't need the experience. It's okay. Maybe they need balance. Maybe they just need to poop. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, sell them whatever it is that's going to fit them. Don't try to sell them something else. Um, selling one plus line product is better than not selling anything at all. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, okay prospects drop off, follow up. I can't tell you, like I said earlier, I have notebooks of people. Notebooks mean that that's a notebook full of people that they have not done anything. 
Okay, I have talked to them, but they've not done anything. Um, find out what your closing ratio was. I learned this one time that says if you close, if you have to talk to 100 people to sign one person, then you know your closing ratio is 100 to 1. So next month, you want to make your ratio 10 to 100. You want to talk, sign 10 people out of 100. Then your closing ratio is better, right? You've grown. So, um, and John Eric talks about the 1% a lot. Um, being 1% better than you were the day before. So if you met, sent three follow-up messages today, maybe you need to send six tomorrow. You know, maybe you need to send 10 tomorrow. Be better, 1% better than you were the day before. If prospects are dropping off, again, three-way calls, three-way messages. Are you sending screenshots to your 4K, 12K, 80K, whatever, upline, asking them, hey, can you just take a look at what I'm saying? Um, maybe I need to say something different. Um, let's see. Selling three days. I'm not selling three days and I'm from a small town. Okay, well, then we need to work on getting you a couple three days sold. You know, that's just something you're going to have to work on. There are, I have better weeks than I have, you know, some, some weeks I have good and I send out 10 to 23 days. Some I don't send out any, just being honest, not for lack of trying some days. But what I told somebody today, might have been Devin, might have been Tristina, I don't remember. I think it was Christina. I said, I always offer the month first. And if they say they can't do the month, then I offer the many. And I do that because I would rather use my thriving for free credits and say, I'll give you 20 bucks. Yeah, it was you. I'll give you 20 bucks off it um, at checkout. If you want to try the full month, no other commitments needed. And I let people know that because if people know me from it works, they know they used to have to sign a three month commitment with me. Um, here, you don't have to. They can literally order one time and never again. People love that. They love knowing that they can shop one time. Do they order again? Yes, most of them do, but they don't have to. So, um, we need to work on selling three days. You need to talk about your one, your three, your 10 day experience. Okay. Um, small town right there with you. I think we have 1900 people on the little Google census thing, um, for our town, me and the town that Ruth and I both live in. Um, we have like 19, um, hundred people. Okay. Um, so I mean, with the last company, it's just adding people that didn't live near me and finding that, like the painting or the pageants or whatever it is that you guys are attached to and you love, that's your hobby, get in some Facebook groups, find real relationships. Don't just add people to add people. When I moved to Florida and I was in a brand new area, um, I posted in a couple yard sale groups, not about my business because we're not allowed and we weren't there, but... Um, when I moved to Florida and lived down there, I went in all the local yard sale groups and I said, hey guys, I'm new to the area. We've never lived here before. I have three kids, ages, blah, blah, and blah. Uh, what are some free or cheap things that are your favorite things to do? What are some sightseeing things that we can go do? Um, you know, where are your favorite places to eat? I asked questions every single day and people gave their responses every day. And I loved that because I literally made new friends. We made play dates. Some of those people ended up joining my team or becoming customers, not because I pushed anything on them, but they just watched my page and because we became friends and I became somebody trustworthy to them. So I hope that's making sense. Um, okay, now, moving on. That one. Okay. Um, I hope those help you guys. All right. So what do you guys feel that you would make, um, that will make you most successful this month? I didn't ask goals on purpose because I ask you goals all the time, right? I asked, I wanted to know what was going to, what you thought would make you the most successful. I feel like one of my favorite was myself. I loved that. Somebody put myself and it's so true. You are the, what's going to make you successful. Um, just going after it, going live with an upline anytime. Sideline, upline, there's always somebody that will do it with you. Going live, even though it's scary, we talked about that. I need to talk to more people, okay? So do that. Um, getting people to order a three-day mini and then order monthly, good, do that. Talk about what the experience is doing for you. It sounds to me like you need to talk more about your products every day and what they're doing for you and how you're feeling. Sharing results like Christina's and Zella's and whoever else, and Ruth's husband, James, Holy mackerel. I need to get a hold of his picture. And <laughs> like, I need to share that. He looks incredible. Like it is amazing what Thrive has done for him. Um, 
Ruth was very good. She just, um, yeah, got to keep it real. She just injured her hand um, and like had some fractures and some really bad bruising. And what was really cool is she used our move through it. And on the days that she didn't use move, she was hurting. And on the days that she did use move, she noticed that she wasn't hurting as bad and she could do more things. Um, so I thought that was really cool that she incorporated the products in that. So it's things like that, you know, people are like, okay, what is this stuff that you're talking about? What is this gel that you're like squirting? What is it? You know, um, gaining more customers by gaining new friendships. Ding, ding, ding. Perfect. Um, the support you have behind me is going to make you successful. Absolutely. If you don't think anybody believes in you, trust me, we do. You would not be here if we didn't think that you were amazing. I wouldn't do something like this, like this little survey, if I didn't care about y'all. I'm just being honest. And I know that this name is very long, but I hope that y'all are hanging with me. Um, con consistent posting and interacting with at least five people daily. Absolutely. VIP 800 at least twice. Make it your goal. Make little check marks if you have to, check boxes. Do whatever it's gonna take to get that first customer. Okay, great, you got one. Now do whatever it's gonna take to get two customers. Great, you got that one. You know, you're just gonna have to be consistent with that. Do whatever it takes to, in your brain, that makes sense, break it down into smaller goals. Um, <sighs> consistent, learning three-way calls. How do you get people on those? How do you get people on a three-way call? Somebody asks you about the products or the business. You don't know the answer right offhand, but even if you do, you're like, hang on just a second. You know, I message your upline. Hey, uh, can you do a three-way call in just a little bit? You know, are you available? And then you say, I have this person that I asked that asked me this, this, and this. Okay, so here's the disclaimer. If you're gonna do a three-way call, don't just throw somebody in a three-way message or a chat or um, just randomly call an upline. We have to have some sort of a backstory of what they asked for and what y'all talked about. Um, otherwise, I'm like, uh, they tell me what we're doing. Okay, so um, if you need, have not done them and that's something that you think would make you more successful, then I'm going to challenge you to finish this week out by doing that. Okay, whatever you feel is going to be most successful to make you Whatever you wrote down that you feel is going to be the most successful thing for you, I'm going to challenge you guys to do that the rest of this week. Um, growing my business, pushing hard, signing customers, um, getting an audience. There you go. Add new people, bring value. If your page is nothing but shares and ads and weird stuff, it's not bringing an audience. Go back through your page. See what you've had the most likes and comments on. Has it been business or personal? 99% of the time it's personal. So bring personal out there. What I do, um, kind of playing with the algorithm a little bit, um, is I put quite a few personal things out there, ask a question, different things that are gonna build um, comments, likes, shares, whatever, and then I'll throw business after it because now my Facebook feed is in all of their faces, okay? Um, Consistency, talked about that. Focus, you power hours, okay? Um, whatever it works for you. Um, keeping on people who said that they're gonna order, keep a calendar, keep following up. I have a calendar full of people that say they're gonna order and they never do. So uh, my follow up is, hey, um, I know that you couldn't, you know, last Friday, maybe now's a better time. I'm offering $25 off or $20 off or whatever. Get your codes, do 10% shipping or 10% and free shipping, okay? All right. Um, what's your realistic goal? Amanda, if you're listening, a lot of them need to go 4K, wanna go 4K by the end of March. So um, that's really, it was 12K and 4K and um, re-VIPing, even though they were outside of the bonus time. But um, I love, I love those attainable goals, you guys, 4K and You have to have those attainable goals, no matter what, even if you've hit 4K before, if you've dropped below it, um, even if you've been at rank before and you've dropped below it, here's the thing, guys, is like, you have to have that in reach of where you and the people that do come along with you can reach those goals. Like, yes, it's great to say, I want to go 12K. I want to go um, 40K. I want to go 80K. I want to go 200K. But here's the deal. You have to have each goal in mind before you hit the next one and you have to reach and achieve those. So um, no matter where you're at, every single one of you can be a 4k by the end of this month, every single one of you. And if you do have people under you that are trying to push for 
4K. Um, guess what? You can be a 12K by the end of this month, but it's a matter of settling down and focusing and breaking those goals up. What does that 4K mean? What needs to happen in order to get there and so forth? So I think it's very, very much where you have to keep it a very obtainable goal, but you're going to have to push yourself in order to be able to reach that next goal if you want to go further after that. So. Absolutely. And 4K, you guys, if starting at the beginning of the month, it's literally like a customer order a day, okay, between you and your team. And if it's only you working, then it's only you working. But every day, and it's not going to happen every day, let's be honest, not everybody signs somebody every single day unless you're twin. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that if, if your goal is 4K and maybe your team has fallen away or they become non-existent or you don't have a team, or even if you do have a team and they're working too, like Amanda said, in order to be 12K, you got to put in some effort too. So, um, you know, it's a customer order or a new promoter every day. So just focus on those little things, break it down. That's why we put those charts out there. Um, I didn't, I didn't agree with what that said. Um, that's why we put those charts out there. I think Felicia is the one that said, uh, posted them in the group and in the chats this time where it's like the month and however many, like what volume you need by each day. It's okay if you're a little behind. It's no big deal. Um, I'll be honest, we're behind. As a team, we're behind in volume and we're our 200 cable, okay? Um, I would love to say that we're on track to being 200K, but we're not and that's okay. So um, we just all have to, we have to build and work as a team. And the one thing I loved about this team so much, and I love about this team, and I know some of you guys weren't here with us when it happened, but coming in, um, we went, I went VIP 800, 1600, and 4K on day one. Okay. Well, 800, 1600, that was me, obviously, because those are your own personal efforts. 4K was my team. Okay. Um, and then we went 12K. I wrote it down the other day. It was like two, three weeks in or something. We went 12K. That's in a minute. That's team effort. Um, 40K, we went 40K five weeks in, and then eight weeks in, we were 80K. Guys, we went from 40 to 80K in like, I don't know, man, I think it was like 20 days or something. I don't know. It's crazy. It was so crazy what this team accomplished in that amount of time. And I remember going in our group chat and saying, guys, we're about to be a 40K team and we're $5,000 away from it. We were at like 35 something. And this team rallied together and busted their hunts and got orders. We all got orders and we all worked together and it was all real, real orders. And it wasn't, you know, it was, it, it was so exciting. Do you remember that? That was like the most exciting time. We did it for 80K. I was like, oh my gosh, you guys, we're gonna be 80K. And we need like 12,000 in volume. And everybody was like, Doo! and we were all working. There's absolutely no reason why you guys can't be 4K the rest of this month. You have to be 4K at the end of this month. Like make it your, like I have to be. Like I have to be 4K at the end of this month. If you're 4K and you're holding 4K, I have to be 8K at the, the end of this month. Whatever it is that makes sense to you, grow yourself okay and I mean I would give anything for all of us to be a 200k team by the end of this month I would give I would give probably my right arm no I'm just kidding I probably wouldn't but um you know I would love for this team to be a 200k team I want us to be able to go out there and say guys look what we've done look what we've done we've started from the bottom literally in June of 2017 and look where this team is. And I want to be able to be in Amanda's place where I can go back and say, Hey guys, thousand dollars right now. I'm going to drop it. Who's got orders, you know, new and coming customers here. I want to do that because, um, three weeks ago, I know without a shadow of a doubt, uh, that rule dropped 10 grand in a promo. No lie. I want that bank account y'all and not to have a prideful thing. I want that bank account so that I can give back to you guys so much because you all deserve to see what five figures a month feels like. You deserve that. And so that's where we're headed. Okay. What I thought was pretty cool. I asked to everyone who was thriving for free. Um, 70% of you said yes. Every single month I thrive for free. 23% of you said um, some months I do and not, ev not every month. Um, and then, um, the last one was, um, the la the rest of you were no, not at all. I never have. 
at the end of the day, if 4K sounds like a really big goal for you and you've never thrived for free, or maybe you only thrive for free sometimes, y'all need to be thriving for free. We have 28 days this month and we can make sure, my phone might ring in just a second and I swear I'm not hung up on you. They just text and said that their school was out for sickness the rest of the week. Thank the Lord. Um, but it, it, they, they text and then they call. So if it, if it freezes, I'm not leaving. Um, I'll just hang up on it. Okay. So just a disclaimer, um, thrive for free. There's no reason we all can't have two auto ship customers every single month. Now, with that being said, if you sign up two auto ship customers, they have to click the auto ship button and they have to leave it on the rest of the month. Okay. Like March 1st, if you have two, two brand new customers, but they're both on pause, it's not going to count. Okay. So if anybody needs to pause, ask them to wait until, you know, March 1st or the 2nd when you get your credits. Um, but we all need to be thriving for free because this business is free. We're not getting paid charged for a website. We're not getting charged for a mandatory auto ship like we were. We're not getting charged annual dues. Um, but that those free credits are things that you give back to your customers. Um, yes, you can use them on yourself and you use them however you want. I won't tell you how to use your credits. Those are yours. For me, I don't use any of them on me. I will purchase like, you know, the 400 pack, um, the 200 pack. I purchase those for myself. Um, but I use my credits to bless my customers. And like you guys saw today to bless your customers. Okay. Um, another really cool statistic for this um, team was do any of these, uh, um, did any of you achieve any of these? And, um, 28 people had sent in the, um, survey before I printed them this evening. Um, and VIP 800 out of 28 that sent it in, 14 of you guys got VIP 800. Guys, that's good. That's really good. And do you know why? Because in the last company, you had to have four, four customers to do anything, and then they took that benefit away. And most people don't do that. Most people can't even get two. So y'all are getting 50% of this team that have submitted things have gotten a VIP 100 minimum. So that's awesome. Um, and then we 1600 iPad bonus, car bonus, the resets that came out. I'm still in my first 14 days and I haven't gotten anything. And that's okay. That's, that's okay. Um, Cause resets are coming if you never got anyone and you just keep trying. All right, Amanda, I want you to listen to these. And I know I've seen you messaging, but um, listen to these because this is the last little bit and I'm going to write. I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not, no, it's fine. Um, I, I didn't know if you were like super like running around crazy, but, um, these are my thoughts, concerns, suggestions, and most of them are all the same. So I'm just going to highlight them. And then after I like read a few of them, um, you can weigh in on those, but I have one that says I'm thankful. You're welcome. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but, um, uh, my upline hasn't helped much. I love her, but she hasn't offered three ways. My suggestion to that is go up go to the next person and the next and the next and the next. Um, until you get, yeah. And if you, if your immediate sponsor or their immediate sponsor isn't active, isn't working, doesn't help you go to the 4k or 12k or me or Amanda. Okay. End of the day. Um, okay. There was the school. Am I back? Okay. Um, so do, do, do. Somebody says, I think two promoters in 14 days is hard when you're just being, and I'm not highlighting all the good ones. There's 90% of them are good. I just want the ones that really need help with this is what I'm highlighting here. I think getting two promoters in 14 days is hard when you're just being able to get product out to people by waiting on shipment to come and getting minis out. I personally feel that this is somewhat unrealistic. The product sells itself once you get it into people's hands. It's just getting promoters to jump on that fast or, or a, four for your iPad in 30 days. Okay, I need to say something for that. Um, here's the reality, guys. They're paying you like $660 for 800 worth of volume, okay? It's meant to be hard. It's meant to be challenging. It's meant to create urgency. And here, okay, so I know that it is hard, but I've seen people that have not had an ounce of network marketing jump on Facebook and sign people before they even get those minis out into people's hands. And it's a matter of how, and I hate the like, 
beat a dead horse when I say this, but it literally is a matter of mindset and how you view it. Um, for me, when I got started, nobody knew that I was joining this company. Nobody knew I was trying the products because I couldn't let it leak at all. It was literally a matter of me announcing that I was doing something and excitement and so forth. Same thing when I was in my last business. 90% of the time, the people that joined me had never tried any. In fact, I would say 95 to 99% of the time, people that joined me or ordered from me had never tried any of the products. So I think because I came from that mindset, I just came into this that, you know, if you're planning on ordering this, then let's just get you started. Um, and as for the um, promoter side of it, you know, I think sometimes people are afraid to ask for that, like to tell people uh, about the 200 kit or the 400 kit right off the bat because they're like automatically eliminate people from being able to order it. But here's what I want to bring to everybody's um, attention, I guess. I don't know, attention or whatever, but to your mindset, okay? Here's the thing. I came over thinking, God, I can't even get anybody to sign up for $99. How am I going to get somebody to sign up for 400 kit? I'm going to tell you the difference between myself and somebody else coming in that doesn't know any different. Somebody else coming in that doesn't know any different knows that a business is going to have startup costs most of the time. Um, like 99.9% .9 of them have startup costs. Okay. We are literally the only network marketing company that I know of that does all of that free, 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 free. Um, but gives you the ability to sell some minis or whatever to order the kit. If you absolutely don't have it for me, what I tell people is, whenever you're talking to somebody, first of all, I, I am very upfront and I say, listen, if you want to get started and you want to feel amazing, you really want to run with this business, let's get you an upgrade kit. And they say, I don't have any money, Amanda. I really need this, but I don't have any money. I say, okay, what do you have that you can sell? What do you have that you, you know, you got to post, like, let me get you a three day mini out you need to send me the money. If I don't know if they're going to be serious or not, you better believe I'll make them pay for it. Um, if I know they're going to be somebody that's serious, I will, I will give that three day mini away because it is worth it. And I did that from the very beginning. Um, I did the same thing with wraps, you know, I was like, here, try it, you know, whatever. Um, but the reason for that is, is because there's a different level of commitment and seriousness. And when you're talking to somebody, if you tell them, you know, I'm really wanting to run with this business. I really need this extra money and I really want to help you make that extra money. Let's do this. What do we have to do? We have to be excited. We have to share testimonies. We have to be, um, step outside our comfort zone. We have to talk to a lot of people and then guys, that's when you sign those two customers, two promoters. So I understand the concern because it, it's probably, I'm guessing from somebody that's never done network marketing maybe before. Um, but that's the reality of the beast. That's the reality of this, this industry. Um, and to get those kind of bonuses, um, you have to put urgency and you have to, you know, make moves and you have to make it happen. So if, for some reason you don't do that, you ought, you can still get the VIP uh, or the 4K bonus. But in all actual reality, the company has come out with uh, re-VIPs a couple times since I've been here. And you never know when those are going to come around the corner. And I'm just going to tell you guys, um, it's just as hard later in your journey to re-VIP Okay, as what it is in the beginning. For me, I re VIP'd. Actually, we've had it three times since I've been here. Um, I, I, no, we had two times since I've been here because the first time was right before I came on. Um, they had a re VIP and I hit VIP 800, VIP 1600 for the second time. And then they did it again, but I only hit VIP 800 that time. I didn't hit VIP 1600. And that's okay um, because the reality of it was I just wasn't signing as many people at that point, but I was building my network. So I, I guess, you know, when somebody comes in, I get the fact of, I, I think a lot of times it comes down to the fact that maybe they didn't want to join um, until they tried the product and they experienced the product. Um, and if that's the case, I would suggest that they didn't become a promoter until they tried the product and already talked to their friends about who wanted to get the samples so that their clock doesn't start until um, they hit the go and they already have their minis already ready to go. Yeah. I love it. And I, one thing I wanted to add when you were saying that, um, 
Uh, just so y'all know, um, it doesn't always work out in your benefit. Um, I got Amanda on a three-way call um, with me when she was in New Orleans with a girl that was like gung-ho to start this business. And I mailed her a three-day mini and she loved it. And I went to follow, I keep following up with her because um, I thought she was going to become a promoter. And I went to follow up with her today and she's blocked me. So she got a free three-day mini for me and it didn't work out in my favor. So <laughs> with that being said, um, I'll discount the 15 bucks, but um, I don't know that I'm sending any free ones anymore because everything that I've sent for free just doesn't return to me great, but that's not always the case. I mean, I mean, it's just not always the case. Okay. So, um, all right, moving on. I mean, lots of thankfulness, lots of, I really want this. I'm thankful, blah, blah, blah. I need help closing. I can't get my potentials to the three-way point. My first time in network marketing. I've always done sales in stores. We've talked about this. Um, I feel like I'm failing or she's put, I am failing. You're not. Um, I started January 10th and I've missed my 4k goal. Guys, it's fine. It's life. It's your journey. Here's what I have to tell you. One piece of advice. Um, okay. First, Three-way calls, three-way messages, whatever. Um, screenshot, ask your upline. Screenshot, ask your upline. Let them give you the words to close until you learn the words that you're supposed to say. And I'm telling you, sometimes it exhausts me if I'm getting message after message after message. But I would much rather teach you what I'm saying or let Katie teach you what she's saying Put it, in the, put it in the group chat. Let some of the leaders jump in on there so everybody learns together and then to watch you get frustrated, okay? Um, I'm being honest with you. And we talked about that. A lot of it might be you're trying to sell. I mean, if, if you're a salesperson, you're just, you might be selling. One piece of advice that I got um, in my last journey that will probably stick with me the rest of my life because it doesn't just go with business is God is not going to promote you to the next level until there, you have learned what you need to learn to be at that next level. Does that make sense? Like, I know that's a mouthful, but you're not going to be at 200 K until you've learned how to take care of a 200 K team. Okay. Um, you're Let me, not gonna, wait, can I, can I come in for just a second? So while yeah. you say that, um, here's the deal guys, when you become a 200 K, you have the people that are discouraged. You have the people that are mm -hmm. on the brink of quitting. You have like the more people you have on your team, the more um, rejection, the more disappointment sometimes because you know, you're sad or you know that somebody's potential, but they just kind of like, um, don't allow themselves to do it or they, they say they want it, but then they never put in the action behind it. Um, but you're trying to work with them. And at some point, you know, it, it's really hard as you grow as a leader, um, to see that happen, especially because, you know, to one person, you know, you might be the one person that they reach out to, but to them, they might have like 200 people that they need to talk to that day. And it becomes, it becomes a, a it, it becomes mentally draining whenever mm -hmm. you're surrounded by a bunch of uh, negative, especially if you have a bunch of like people that are super negative all the time. I'm not talking about negative trying to grow. I'm not talking about that. That's, that's different. I'm talking about whenever I see people take actions, like I'm like, yes, yes, yes. You know, and find ways. I'm all about if I see a sad post, I see somebody like really discouraged or whatever, let's find a way to get out of that. Let's find a way to, um, shift that mindset into growth, um, into the good and so forth. So the 200 K sounds good, but here's the thing. I wouldn't have been ready. I wasn't ready. Um, when I went 200 K to be 200 K. Like I'm looking at like all these other 200 Ks and I'm like, Whoa, I don't even know what I'm doing here. And still to this day, guys, I go onto the 200 K page. I'm like, you know, Chastity Marie says it. She says, I'm not qualified to lead you all, but I'm qualified to be on this journey with you or something like that. And it's so true. Like, I, I mean, she's qualified to lead obviously, but you see what I'm saying? Like, 
Right. I'm not qualified to take care of and, and to be that, that person for everybody. You know, I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea and Nikki's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but we're here to help you grow, you know, right. and we hope well, to be your friend. <laughs> well, and that's, I mean, you're saying what you were saying, it hits the nail on the head. Like the, if you're, if you can't overcome some hardships that you might be having at that time, like I can't, okay. I, and I hate these words, but these are the words that were in the papers. I can't get a customer. I can't get a promoter. If you can't figure out a way to overcome some of those things, you can't really teach somebody else how to overcome that. So if, if you're, if you're upset about missing a mark, it's okay. You just miss that mark. Your mark, my goal of 200 K has never changed. My ultimate dream income is 40,000 a month. I have had, that's a stupid amount of money. I mean, it's stupid. Nobody needs that kind of money, but, um, I have had that goal on my dream board, every single dream board since 2013. Every single year, I've never made that money, but that goal is not going to change. My time stamp might have changed, but my goal hasn't changed. So it just, you just have to find whatever the missing link is for you to grow. So maybe you need new runners. Maybe you need new leaders. Maybe you need to become a runner. Maybe there's something that you need to learn. Maybe you're not a leader yet, but you have some mindset things, you know, maybe you're not sewing good stuff, you know, I mean, just all these different things. So find a way to be better than you were the day before and just keep going for that. Um, I really need this. My heart is in this. I want to be a leader. I want to succeed and I'm happy to be on this team. I loved that one. Um, I love that one. I feel like that I could have written that. Um, I love that. Um, this one, um, I don't want to end this, this on this one, but, and I'm not going to address, um, this at all on this doom, but if this person that wrote this one, I don't even want to address it. So we're not going to end on this. If you wrote this, I know it's supposed to be anonymous, but if you're willing to open up to me and Amanda, I'd like to hear a backstory on this one. And the only reason I'm saying it is because I want to say it on the Zoom since this is what it's for and not in our group or our chats or anything. But it says some of the people in our group um, are not so nice, especially to new promoters. Some of the people in our group called message people. And when you let them know you're on the same team, they get rude to the point of having to block them. Now, with that being said, I assume that you're new yourself. Um, you may be getting messages from somebody that's not necessarily on our team because I don't know anybody on our team that does that. So I'm not going to address it, but, um, it could just be somebody in Laval in general and you know, they're just yeah, and I can tell you this guys, um, sometimes comes in experience. And I had a girl that was yeah. messaging people a while ago that I signed up. Um, she was messaging people because she was trying to get, um, some of the plus line products and she was messaging them and ask like other promoters. I mean, asking them literally like if they had any um, samples for sale or anything like that. And they were kind of like mystified, like what the world is she doing? But really what she was doing was she was just trying to reach out and she didn't realize like, that's not really <laughs> how it's done or anything. And, right. um, you know, so some, sometimes it's just a matter of communication um, and, and understanding understanding like where that person's coming through. But as for cold messaging, I don't flow like that. Um, I am not a cold messenger. I will never teach cold messaging. I know there are some people out there that do cold message. I think though cold message um, and warm message, if you've, if you've had any kind of relationship with somebody that's different, but I never think you should ever reach out to somebody and just try to sell to them. Um, Cause I ignore those messages and I want, people to think about how it makes them feel. But as for cold messaging, um, other people's teams, like if something like that's ever going on, guys, you definitely need to let us know so that we can address it head on and nip okay. that shit in the ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, honestly, that's, that's my language. No, but that's why I wanted to say something because if that's going on, I want to see if it truly is somebody on our team. So we can not yeah, tell them and, necessarily and to thing. stop, but that, it's not okay. You know, I just, just message me. Like, let's not even yeah. talk about it. Yeah. But, I mean, okay. here's the reality of it, guys, is like, you can assume things. And, and as a nurse, I'll say this. Um, I was always taught assuming, make an ass out of you and me um, <laughs> type of thing. Right. So, you know, Lisa has a very stern 
policy about what she does if this ever is the case. And, and she asks for the person to provide screenshots because if indeed you know yes. for a fact that somebody is doing something like that, then you need to provide screenshots because we will, we'll shut that down. Um, right. And we never want somebody to feel uncomfortable to come to us or anything like that. And I do know that sometimes whenever you do rat somebody out, um, you know, you kind of do feel like, well, if I say anything, they're going to know who exactly told me. But here's the thing. You can't stop something if nobody ever knows about it. Um, and we never want somebody to feel like that's not what I ever want our team. Listen, guys, there's going to be people in business that do things that, without integrity. And right. I just don't want to be that team. Um, I can tell you right now, I see somebody flying up on the leaders board that I wouldn't be on his team if a dog, like, I mean, there, there's just no way. Um, and, and do I think that he's doing it? Yeah, because I had customers that signed um, that are now 12 Ks and above that are on that team and they blocked me, you know? So did I fight for those customers? Absolutely not. Why? Because I don't want them if they're going to do sh um, shady stuff like that. I don't want to work right. with people like that. So uh, I, I, I feel like, you know, I don't, I definitely don't want you all to leave on that note. Um, no, when we've gone for like almost two hours, I know my husband's probably ready to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous, but I hope that this helped you in some way, shape or form. I hope that somehow we covered your concerns or praised you for something that you put out there. Um, this is what I want you guys. I want this honesty and openness with me and with our team. And um, I hope that you got value from it. I hope that you feel energized and that you can finish this month strong. Um, here's the deal. We have so many great things going on. We don't know what's gonna happen this week at the end of the week in Vegas or what they're gonna announce. I know the bars are coming out, um, which is I'm super excited about, um, <clears throat> but I don't know as far as like anything else. But what I do know is that we have the ability to pre-sell 400 and 800 kits. Um, we have the ability to grab tri triple and double fast starts. We have the ability to get those promo codes and launch our businesses forward. Um, it's going to just get, take you getting serious and consistent and using this first quarter um, when people are starting to get their taxes back and things like that to your best advantage. So, um, you know, work y'all. That's all I can say is just work and finish this month stronger than you have in the last, I don't know, five months. I mean, whatever it takes for you to like, you know, get your volume up, um, do something that makes yourself proud every single day, no matter what that is. So I love you guys. And I'm so grateful that y'all hung out with me and Amanda for this long. This, this is, I didn't expect to go this long at all, but after I sat down and read, I had 29 printed pages of the survey and all of your responses. And after I sat down and read them, I knew that I wanted to cover the majority of them and that it would go a little long, but um, it was important that we, we discussed this. So I love um, you guys and uh, I hope that y'all have a great night and let's finish strong. So yes, good night. Finish strong. Good night, guys.